Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I wanted to share this tutorial because it's so simple, um, and I think you'll like it. So, <laughs> before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I totally appreciate it. All right, so what am I doing? These are chocolate bars, little snacks. So, I'm prepping for our craft workshop, right, and I thought, well, we kind of have a party prop, um, party favors workshop and not have our own favors be decked out. So I scrambled and I'm like, we need to do it. So this is not part of the class in case you're wondering, but you know, I just wanted to quickly whip up something. So, you know, our, our mascot is basically, you know, cool cat in a pool, um, in a donut floaty. So I use Canva and then there's a picture of Claudia and myself in this one. So I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I want to show you what it looks like. So I did all of this in Canva because there was nothing that could really fit in there. So that's fine. I was able to fit three this way and then you can see how many I can do here. So the thing about how I measure is these they're not a sticker, they're printed, they're not gonna be even, so it's just gonna be, it is what it is, right? But what you wanna do is you wanna measure kind of like, you know, what I did was I did, what did we do? Hold on, let me see what the, the measurement is. Um, let's look at this one. I did three inches by 1.8. So on here, it went 1.8 yeah 1.8 so and then on this way I measured all the way around and it was about is a little bit short than three inches but I did three inches just so that it wrapped around so that's how you kind of break down anything so like this for instance um, I measured around and it was three and a half inches right you can see that now here's the difference on the Neato paper, I did three and a half. I would probably do a little bit longer for any paper that's thicker, like your Koala double-sided. So I used both just to see like which one I prefer. And I gotta say, I prefer the Neato, and here's why. Because it was so nice to like just cut it up and not deal with any glue. Like I'm just gonna peel off and stick. So like on this one, it was much faster than, than adding some sort of adhesive, whether I'm using Barely Art glue or I'm using my hot glue gun. So you can see that was quick. So I ended up preferring that. The only thing that, um, the drawback is that once you stick it down, there's no adjustment, right? So with glue, like if I put this down, like this one's all off, look at where, this is the bend of the chocolate it's over here there's missing pieces here so i mean these are not going to be perfect but once you put it down you're stuck there's no adjusting whereas with glue you can kind of shift it a little bit before the hot glue gun dries so you're gonna have to be okay with it not lining up perfectly because this is also not lining up you know like the actual print itself isn't lined up properly um I have another one printing so that I can show you this M&M. And then what we'll do is we'll jump into Canva so you can see how I designed this. Let me see if this, let me turn that off. And hopefully that's a little bit better. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna go grab that. And normally I would say, you know, cut it so that it's easier. Like obviously this, I'm gonna have to recut. So this is how I did it, very quick, so that I can prove to you. <laughs> All right, so um, you do wanna make sure that, you wanna be able to cut straight and fast, right? Like I know this isn't lined up to this because I had messed up on an earlier cut and so I had to cut one single, <laughs> one single M&M can. So you can see this is really fast and then you saw me put it on the sticker on and so it's it's once you get going it's super fast now here's the other thing um i didn't bother to stick this in my cricut because I, one i wanted to cut the full sheet right 
if this was print then cut, I would have been limited in and I wouldn't have been able to probably do a couple of these stickers. Um, probably I would have been missing probably like five to seven stickers less, like less labels. And then because I did that, I'm like, well, I also know these are just rectangles. They're going to be super fast to cut. And oh man, I didn't notice. <laughs> That's what happens when I'm talking to you and I cut. Ooh, I chopped off quite a bit. But let's do this M&M &M one and then we'll switch over to Canva and get that going. So, so usually what I would, I would want to do is prep all of these and then go and sit on the couch and kind of like zone out and watch Yellowstone or something as I'm doing this. Okay, so here is this one. Um, what am I missing on this one? Oh, this one's missing the M&M &M pun. So on these, I had, say, a treat for being so m and m -pressive. <laughs> So uh, this one, gosh, when I, was, when I was moving it, I must have missed that. Okay. So you put it down. So just thank you. I could have done anything on this one, but... That's how quick and fun that was, right? And it's just cute. So I did a whole thing. And then here, these, I'm going to finish out. Um, I'm not going to print anymore. So whatever I don't get to, then those will stay plain. But they're pretty stinking cute. Like when someone comes to the workshop and I don't know, it's, it's pretty extra. I think it's adorable. All right, let's show you how to do it. I'm going to move this, move the keyboard over and let's get into Canva. So I'm going to switch camera so give me one second it's a hot mess right now <laughs> it's always a hot mess but definitely more okay I'm gonna move myself down here all right so when you're in Canva I'm gonna leave this for a second let's start from the beginning so for me with chip bags party favors I just go to create a design and I always just do um, a custom size. It's eight and a half by 11. You want to change your units to inches and I'm going to change it to 8.5 by 11 and create a new design. Or I could have chosen, you saw that on there. It was down as like a saved item. All right. So the first thing is on what I like to do is I like to bring in my square so that I know what the size is. So what did we say? <laughs> I'm gonna grab the M&Ms again. Um, we did three inches, that's top to bottom, and around is three and a half inches. So on this, let's make this three inches. Oops. Um, hold on, I'm losing, I'm losing brain cells right now. I want this way, no, I want this to be, I'm losing it, to, okay, <laughs> I, I need to have food, let me go back and see what I did, because now I can't even think of my measurements, okay, that's what I did, I had this length be three inches, so that's, that's the long, this is three inches and then it wrapped around. Okay, so <laughs> I swear that was so crazy. All right, so this is three inches and then I'm gonna do three and a half inches this way. There, there it is. So here is my first one, right? So now that I have this, I can show you, I, I love Canva because you can pretty much drop anything in here. So what I did was I searched for a pool. So let's do a pool and let's say, you know, we really like this one, okay? So I can put this here and for me, I just make it fit into my existing square, rectangle. Okay, so there's my pool. Now I'm gonna go to uploads. I know my cat's in here. So, but I'll show you a different one, okay? So kind of, this is, um, it's about an inch. And so I'm looking at my M&M &M and I feel like I can see about an inch at a time. So I want my message to be like, I want this to be about an inch. 
And it doesn't matter if it's in the middle, right? Because we're going to place it down and that will be our center. But then I'm going to go to um, text. And you can either choose one of these or you can just add. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's make this, oops, maybe 15 because we want it to fit in this area, right? We know that's our space. All right, let's see what thank you looks like. Thank you. And that can actually be bigger. Like, thank you for coming, right? So now we can set the color um, and we could do pink. And then you can go to effects and you can add things like you could do that, that. I mean, there's just it. They make it so easy. Um, that's not good. There, that's legible. And then what I can zoom in so you can see what it looks like. Right. So there's like a thin blue right there. And then, you know, you can add another text like a up here and let's change this to you know something easy that we can read um i mean it could be that but we could just say you know um hope you had a great time and we can make this right you can just add keep adding stuff. So then what you do is once you have this design, you grab the whole thing, copy, paste. So now you've got this here. We're going to have room here for maybe this one, the small one, right? So let's do this. Control C, Control V, line this up so that you can cut it easily on your, on your, you know, paper cutter. And then I think, can we fit another one? I think we can. Let's move, let's move these four up. So you can fit six to a page. Here, let's look at the measurements. Let's go back into here. Oops, sorry. Yeah, elements. And let's pull up a square. So here we go. We're going to drag it and then make this one. What did we say it was? It was like um, 1.25 maybe. And I think we said it wrapped around, let me measure it really quickly. Um, maybe two and a half. So I'm gonna do, I think that's the one where we went with 2.8, right? Okay, so let's see. Oh, perfect. Um, one and a half, right? Let me double check that. No, one and a quarter. I need to go eat. <laughs> we'll keep it at 1.3, that's fine. So we know we can fit a couple of these. Um, okay, let's, on this one, let's go to elements and I'm gonna put in, um, I think I did beach. And I think I did this one. So Okay, so there's our beach. I went into uploads. I had a picture of me and Claudia. So here. Oh, oops. So on this one, I actually just want to resize it and make it smaller, right? So this is kind of in the middle. Make it even smaller. Okay, so we're in the middle of a beach scene and then I had the words thank you. So go to text, add a heading. Um, I think I made it in white. And then let's make this about 
30 and see what that looks like. Okay. Maybe even a little bit smaller. Okay. And that's it, right? We're going to grab this, copy, paste. Oops, I took an extra thank you. copy and paste, drop it down here. And I think that's all we can really do. So what, what you might wanna do though is line this up here so that with your paper cutter, you cut up a straight row over, right? So that way we'll do the same here and line this up with this. Easy peasy, right? So what you wanna do at this point is you wanna go to share and download. You want the PNG download and then you're gonna open it up and go to print. So um, give me one second, as soon as it's done, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna click this one open and let me move this over so you can see it. All right, so um, I'm just going to go to print and here's my Epson. Okay, I don't want it landscape. I need to change that to portrait. Okay, that looks good. Rear feed, that's where I put mine. Glossy paper, you wanna match it to the right paper type so that it prints out really good quality. And in your regular print settings, um, so this is it, you go to print. But if you don't always, cause for me, I'm almost always printing high quality. But what you can do is you can go in here and go to print and um, open. And you want to make sure that your Epson workforce, you can click here, go to printing preferences, and you want to make sure that you've got the highest quality on everything. So here, let's go to paper quality, rear feed, glossy paper, color, advanced. I want to make sure it's 600 by 600. I've got my color printing, output quality is high quality. So when I printed these things, they look like store-bought stickers. So that's what you wanna make sure. You wanna have good quality paper. I, you know, I love my sticker paper from Needle Labels. Um, I also use Koala um, for chip bags. So that will be on my Amazon too if you're looking for that. But um, both work. It's just, you know, I think it would be good for you to try out and see what you like. So, you know, I kind of gave you the pros and cons. For me, I just feel like it was, I, I needed the fast, you know, I'm doing this whole bag. <laughs> I'm prepping for the workshop that's happening this weekend. Um, okay, so it's July 9th and our workshop is July 16th and 17th. That's the in-person in Los Angeles. There's still time to buy it. There are just a few, few tickets left, so you could still go and do it. Here's the thing though, we've also opened it up and we are letting virtual seats. And what that means is well, you're not gonna join us virtually on that day. This is gonna happen in August, but you need to buy your tickets now through the same place. The reason is because you're getting our cut, um, our cut materials. So we're gonna cut everything out in the cardstock and all the materials that we like, and then you're gonna assemble it. Um, the other thing is the sponsored items will also be mailed to you. So it's super, super cool. It's so different than the other Zoom classes that are being offered because you have to go and cut your own project, which you might not have all the beautiful things that we had in mind when we designed it. You know, like if you're doing that milk box that I was, um, prepping earlier. We've got the gold foil for the pineapple. We've got a bazillion layers in all the tropical colors, plus Nito labels, uh, you know, all of that. HTV in ne hot neon pink so that you get the flamingo. <laughs> so it's all those things. So if you're interested, please go um, click on the link in our description to hear about it. But um, like I said, because we opened it up virtually, there are just very few seats left. If you are interested, please just go buy it. <laughs> because the bag, I promise you, the goodies and the swag and just getting a box that you can then go and assemble with us. So it's gonna be a Zoom. If you don't miss it, we will also record the tutorials and you will have it on repeat. You can watch it a hundred times if you want to. Um, but, um, 
you'll also within that course we'll take you into design space and show you how we designed it and the tips and tricks so it's both claudia and myself claudia from miss olivia rose shop and me so yeah I, it's i'm so excited because as i'm prepping i'm like this is so cool the materials make a difference i get so many questions from you guys um where you send me pictures and you're like it didn't really come out the way you did it and i'm like well you didn't have the right glue and you didn't use the the right color the right shade all of that matters especially when you're making something that's well known like princesses right the disney princesses if the skin tone is off if whatever all those things add up and all of a sudden like many things add up and make like a huge difference in your project so this is just i don't know it's it's a really cool opportunity so anyway thank you for listening and i hope this was easy to follow let me know comments questions i will see you guys next time bye